Yo, 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 you too. What a do. Hydric69 with another video. And I've seen a problem lately, especially with the new update, which is lag. So I wanted to make a video on how I prevent lag on my iPad and how you can get better, cleaner gameplay. So right now, I think it's because of the new update. It just seems kind of laggy, the game recently. And I've noticed some other people have been experiencing it. But if you don't know how to kind of check your lag, you want to look at your ping. And if you have a high ping, then you're going to want to try and do some of these steps to get it to a lower number. So the first thing I would do is if you're experiencing lag is to make sure Fortnite is the only app you have running. Usually Fortnite will be the only app I have open just to prevent lag. It helps a lot just having only Fortnite open while you're playing because screen recording will cause some lag and that's how I get all of my clips. And then if the game keeps lagging, what I'd do is to close out of the app and get back on. And if it, you're still experiencing lag, I'd just restart your iPad. Usually restarting your iPad will fix everything. That always usually helps it if it seems kind of laggy, I'd do that. I think the biggest thing that helps me not get lag is I play next to the rotor. So I have the best Wi-Fi in my house. Another thing you could do is to check your storage. If you have a high storage, your game's obviously not going to be able to run as well as it should be. Getting devices that can clean your phone or iPad of unused storage helps a lot and it'll help the game run smoother. You can find those in the app store. Setting wise, what you can do in Fortnite is to make sure you're on the right server. I live in Maine and New England. So I play on NA East and that's the less laggy, that's way my ping is going to have the lowest number possible because it's the best server and closest to me. Finally, if you're still experiencing lag, which I used to get a lot on my old iPad, is you kind of have to resort to buying a better product. I switched from the iPad 9.7 inch to a iPad Pro 10.5 and the difference has been crazy it's really worth the investment if you're thinking about it i'd do it and you can use it later on i plan on using it in college so it's not a bad investment i hope this video helped you guys i have some clips if you want to keep watching and thank you guys for all the support we've gotten recently if you guys haven't heard we will be doing a v buck giveaway at a thousand subscribers all you have to do is stay active in our post like and comment on our videos and show your support. Thank you guys. We out.